Hello and you're welcome to Avenir Sports Analysis. In this quick demonstration video we just want to outline some of the capabilities of our sports tech sports analysis software. The first thing we should note is that our software runs solely on the Apple Macintosh platform. Apples were built initially to deal with video and so it gives them a huge advantage over PC based software in the sports analysis field. The first step is to capture video into the sports code software. And this is done simply by connecting a 4 pin firewire lead to your camera. So the next step, once you have your video fully digitized, is to start the process of analyzing your team's performance or coding. So we do that primarily through what we call a code window. These can be created very easily. You just go File, New, and Code Window. And just for the purpose of demonstration, we'll create a very simple code window that will deal with kickouts. So what you do is you pull down a code button. Your code buttons are indicated by the red diamond. And a code button is a button that you click at the start of an instance and at the end of an instance. And what it does is it edits your video footage to give you a movie of that exact instance that is contained within the button. So to edit it, you double click, you enter your edit mode and we call this button kick out. You can change your colors, you can change your fonts, change your text size, you can make the buttons look how you want. And we'll also create two descriptor buttons. So a descriptor button, we change it from code to text, describes what goes on within the instance. So we'll simply call this kick out one and copy the button we'll have another descriptor called kick out lost so when you're ready to code you can see our goalkeeper is about to kick the ball out you simply click the code button right corner, and click uh, kick out actually, uh, is to start the instance when you watch the action and code what happens as it goes along. Remembering of course you've got full control. And you can see straight away that's a kick out one. So then to close the instance you click kick out again. And straight away when you zoom in you can see that that instance has now been added to your timeline. So if we click the overlay text, you double click on your instance, it throws up your movie straight away with all your information. It's kick out number one, the first kick out. And then kick out actually, one. Uh, so where that will become very powerful is when we move on to show you one of our own templates. So if we look here, this is the game we've just been working on, fully coded, um, using this analysis template, which is an individual player analysis template. You can see all our buttons along the left here are code buttons, each one representing a player. And in here, we see our other descriptor buttons with the blue dots. And these describe any action which the player can carry out. Over here, you have your goalkeeper. And up here, you have a diagram of the pitch with each button representing a zone on the pitch. So just to show how easy this is to use, we'll code just a small piece of footage here. So you enter your code mode. At the rep you can see it's player number 13, so you click player 13, Referee. Sure. you can see it's a free kick that's going to be taken, Should know a great deal better. he's in the right corner forward zone, it's going to be a shot at goal, Colin Cooper, ready to pounce, and you can see it's a point, so then just to end the instance, we click on number 13, in the instance and straight away if we zoom in the instance should be there in our timeline we see that it is so we double click on the instance straight away it throws it up we can see that it's player number 13 the player's name it's his ninth instance in the game it's a free kick to be taken it's in the right corner forward zone you can play now on the 13 for mouthing at the referee should know a great deal as you move it along you Cooper. Can see the shot at goal and it's a point. ready to so having finished all your coding using this code window here on the right, you're left with your timeline looking like this. 
each box representing an individual coded instance and this is where the software starts to come into its own it's in all the ways in which you can review all the information you've just correlated so probably the first way is if you want to look at an individual player you click on his name you either double click his name or you hit make movie and straight away it'll throw up a movie containing all the instances in which he was involved so you can tab through them quite quickly you can watch them and we see that in all or number eight very busy during the game he was involved in 40 instances you can either click on individual instances that you know you want to see like so or where this software really starts to come into his own is with this feature here called the matrix so your matrix looks like this it's unique to the sports code software and if you look along the left hand side all your code buttons are represented here which in this case is all your players and along the top is all your descriptors so it allows you to search for the information you want in a very unique way for instance if you wanted to see all the points scored by number 13 it goes as far as number 13 on the left hand side and across the points scored you double click on that and straight away it throws up the movie and it turns out there's six instances meaning he scored six points you can go back you can watch the movie you can tab through them this is danger again or again just to demonstrate if you want to see the number of high catches by your number eight you double click once again your movie comes up straight away changes of plenty into the middle of the park there and tab through them once more so there is an absolute vast amount of information contained within this matrix so the next feature we're going to look at are your drawing tools which are located here and your movie organizer which is located here. Firstly if we look at your drawing tools these are very useful to a coach who wants to point something out to his players. So in this instance we're going to look at goalkeeper options and each one of these in your menu here is a graphic which can be added. So if we call this goalkeeper options and you want to change the color of your font then for your arrows you might want to point out to this player that he's in a bit of space he should have been making a run to receive the ball here or you might want to point out to this player because he's also unmarked he should be making an angle for the space or you also might want to point out to this player because he's tightly marked he should have been trying to make a break for the space as well. So where this can be used is we use one of the Apple functions. This allows you to take a photo. Just take a photo of the area. And then you open up your organizer. And you can add then the graphic you just taken. into your first option here which will be the first part of your movie and then if you want the next part of your movie to show the rest of the kick out you can see here that first it'll show the graphic which you've come up with and then it'll show the actual piece of footage it is linked to so you just double click on make movie and straight away it brings up your movie it's goalkeeper options your coach can then talk over where the player should have been, where should have went to, and then the next part of the movie can show where it actually did go. Then you can then open up your movie tools again and talk about, if we just bring it back a bit, that this man should have been attacking the ball more, or that this man was standing off the kick off too much. Just bring it over properly. So you can pause it again, you can play it on, and then take it away.
So there are two functions that are unique to sports code that can be highly useful for a coach or for the development of its players. So although there are many more features, the final feature we're going to look at is the stack movie function in sports code, which is the ability to combine two camera angles and watch them at the same time. So you can see where this would be hugely powerful in this instance. On the left is a live camera feed which focuses mainly on the movement of the ball and on the right is footage captured by a camera belonging to the team uh, it's behind the goal so we call it end on footage so if you play it along you can see if you just pause there camera one which is on the left focuses mainly on the ball and camera one camera two which is on the right will focus on the pitch as a whole which will capture the movement of the players so if we play it along you can see the camera one switches then to side on and you've got end on at all times. So straight away as the focus moves in on the left, the coach can use his drawing tools again in this instance and he can point out elements of the play that he wants picked up on. He might want this man to be moving into the space as he's not marking anyone. And this man to do the same, come in and try and win the ball, and so on and so forth. So Again, you can just bin them and play on. And I think any coach or member of any team could see how immensely powerful that would be. That was a demonstration, just a small number of the features available in the Sports Code software. If you'd like to get in contact with any of us, you can do so through the details on our website.